So for quite a few years now, my wife and I pack up our 1963 Aloha camper and uh, we head to the ocean for at least a week. We just hang out on the beach all day. I make uh, little figurines with my little compacting unit there. It's, it's fun. It's temporary sculptures. They last for a few days. I get together with Mary and we make these big sand castles. We make moats. Put up retaining walls to hold back the ocean. Yeah, I like that works. But at the end of the day, you know, we're hot, sweaty, and years past we didn't have any shower facilities. Uh, we just take a sits bath. But Mary found this cool little um, hula hoop shower curtain on Pinterest. So she decided to make one. We heat up a pot of water and uh, add a little cold water to that, add it to the shower bag, and we're ready to go. That was great. Mary's a quilter, so she had a lot of extra material to make this thing. She added some drawstrings and uh, little Velcro tabs to attach to the hula hoops on the top and bottom. And that way she can wash the cover periodically. Then she took some quarter inch line, attached three of them to the top hula hoop. And we strung that to a cargo strap. The adjustability of the strap allows you to uh, adjust the height once you get your uh, line between two trees. I also throw down a few boards so I don't stand in a mud puddle after a week. Well, after seeing this video, you want to make your own, but you can't find a hula hoop. Well, you can always make your own. I made one well, using half-inch EMT and half-inch PVC. Not a good example. I was messing with this one. But anyway, so when you're done with the thing, you just clean off your bag. Mary made this cool little um, storage bag for it. Throw it all in there and just put a little elastic strap around there and Velcro ties and there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. And cut.